So what we want to do is create a very simple slider that controls the pupil. Uh, and that's really just a gradient. It can be any color. Uh, the gradient uh, is actually in the alpha channel. So the cartoon pupil goes on top of the white. So let's set up that very simple alpha channel control. So in this project, I've got this black material for my pupil. Uh, I want to go under basic and uh, make sure we've got an alpha channel control here. So we'll turn that on and we'll go under textures and we'll choose the gradient. And under the gradients, I'm going to choose, uh, instead of a linear gradient, we'll choose a circular gradient. Then open up the gradient controls here under that little flyout window or a twirl down window. We'll change this to none. And now I've got these two knots, but I want the two knots inverted. So I'll double click on the knot to make the second one black. Double click on the first one to make it white. And now uh, the second knot controls where the end of that white alpha channel is. But I wanted to make sure that I can control this while I'm working here in the scene. And in order to do that, what I need to do, and I've already got this on here, let's add a new Cinema 4D tag, Expresso. And rather than dragging in the tag, I want to drag in the texture for the alpha channel. So I'm not going to drag in the gradient property. I'm going to drag in the entire shader. So from here, I'll drag this in. And inside that shader property, I'll find the position for the second knot. On the sphere or wherever you want to keep your controller, I'll add under user data, some new user data here, float, it is percentage because the percentage of that gradient and I'll call this pupil. See, okay. And we'll drag this in here. And now underneath here, I've got user data and I'll drag that connector from the user data pupil to the gradient. And if we go in here and update this, we can see that the pupil is being controlled by the user data. And it's really easy to get the user data onto the screen just by dragging it there, right clicking. We can show our widget, open this up, see our slider, and very simply animate this way. And that's it.